We all know it's tough to make money on Spotify. Streaming royalties are notoriously low across the board and Spotify isn't even at the top of the list in terms of payout per stream. But despite the low payouts, earning money from streaming royalties is still a worthy goal to pursue. It's not the only goal, mind you, but it is a goal worth looking at nonetheless. So let's examine three distinct scenarios where we look at the amount of streams necessary to earn the amount of money that we wanna make. It's time for some math. Scenario number one, breaking even. So if we are spending $10 a day to market our music every single day with Facebook ads, and we want to break even on that ad spend, that means we are spending $3,650 per year. So we need to make exactly $3,650 per year in return so that we don't lose any money. We're not interested in making money yet. We just want to stop the bleeding and stop losing money. Now, Spotify pays out $3,974.47 per million streams inside the United States. That breaks down to a payout per stream of 0 0.00397446882 dollars per stream. This means we need just under 1 million streams to break even on our ad spend every single year inside the US. 918,362 streams to be exact. If you want to break this down further so that you have some tangible goals, this comes out to 76,530 streams per month, 17,661 streams per week, or 2,516 streams per day. I don't know about you, but these numbers to me are very encouraging because I feel like 2,500 streams per day is frankly quite achievable. Scenario number two, turning a profit. Let's say we're not happy just making our money back on ads. We wanna make a little bit extra as well. Now, the amount you wanna make can vary, but let's just assume we each wanna make an additional $500 per month in profit from our music directly from streaming on Spotify. Depending on where you live, 500 bucks is enough to pad the bank account a little bit, and it can also allow you to spend more money on ads if you wanna scale and grow more quickly. So again, assuming we are spending $10 a day every single day on ads, not only do we have to make $3,650 to recoup that, we also wanna make $500 a month on top of that, which comes out to $6,000 additionally per year. So we need to make $9,650 every single year in revenue to break even on our ads and put an extra $500 in our pocket. Basically just shy of $10,000 every year from our music, which is not bad. That means we'll need exactly 2,427,997 streams to meet our goal. If you want to break it down further, that's 202,333 streams per month, 46,692 streams per week, or 6,652 streams per day. Now, this is obviously a slightly higher number than our 2,500 streams per day that we need to break even, but this is still not a completely unrealistic goal when you start to think about it in terms of how many streams we need per day and you start to plan out how many songs you're ultimately going to release as an artist. Scenario number three, earning a living. Let's say we're no longer interested in just breaking even, and we're not interested in turning a slight profit either. We wanna go full-time as musicians and make all of our money just from this so that we can spend every waking moment doing the thing that we love to do the most. The amount of money that constitutes a living varies depending on your needs and where you live. A living wage in Los Angeles is different from a living wage in Omaha, is different from a living wage in Atlanta, from New York. For this exercise, we're gonna come up with a concrete number that I'm just gonna pull out of thin air and assume that this is a reasonable living wage for us to all start with. Let's assume that we all wanna make $50,000 per year from our music. If we wanna make $50,000 per year in revenue from our music on Spotify, then we need to amass 12,580,297 streams within one calendar year inside the United States of America. This comes out to 1,048,358 streams per month, 241,928 streams per week, or 34,467 streams per day. Now, depending on where you are in your journey as an artist, 34,000 streams per day can seem like quite the hill to climb, especially if you're just getting started, you have just a few releases and you're only getting a few hundred streams. This can seem kind of impossible, but I firmly believe this is well within reason of achieving as an artist, assuming that we all continue to release enough music and keep going on a long enough timeline. Oftentimes releasing new music as an artist can feel like just sort of shouting into the void. But I know I personally thrive when I have measurable, quantifiable goals to pursue. Being able to break down the numbers by week, by day, by month, 
helps me to sort of plan and strategize about what I need to do in the future to meet my financial goals as an artist. Now, before you take off, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That will help the uh, YouTube algorithm. And at the end here, I've got a couple more videos that you can check out if you're interested. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.